Hello, everyone. I'm Xinya Du from Cornell University. And in this talk, I'm focusing on our recent efforts on building more informed machine reader for extracting events from documents. A lot of articles are published every day, and they are from different sources and domains. For example, on the left, I list some recent news articles. On the right are some legal documents and chapters from books. And from the news articles to the more proprietary documents, writing becomes more formal and the documents are less public. And to extract the structured information of events from unstructured text is key to people's efficient reading as well as knowledge acquisition. For example, in the news article regarding the vaccine developments, multiple event frames could be extracted. And the arguments spread across different paragraphs in, our, in the article. So what are the main challenges for this general document level understanding problem that are often overlooked by prior work? Here are at least three major challenges, followed by our recent efforts in understanding and tackling them. More specifically, the lack of document level context. And secondly, the lack of background knowledge. Last but not least, the annotation cost and availability. More specifically, for the document level context, for example, in this article, typical information extraction system will read through the document sentence by sentence, but they won't be able to fully understand this sentence. Even with the, with the state-of-the-art sentence level understanding tools, they are not able to, under, to resolve who the subjects are actually referring to in this sentence. But with the document level context in the previous paragraph, it's easy to resolve what the subject is actually referring to and correctly extract these elements. And in collaboration with my advisor, Claire, and Professor Sasha Rush at Cornell Tech, we study and introduce two models for better leveraging and modeling the document level context. And the second challenge is the lack of background knowledge. For example, the argument names might be different across domains. And to better modeling, the background knowledge is definitely needed for the model to perform well at test time on arguments that is not seen at training time. And the third challenge is that many documents, such as the proprietary files, often contain confidential information. And for them, crowdsourcing-based methods to obtain annotations and is definitely costly. And under this consideration, Designing general models with great robustness and cross-domain generalization is important. And next, I will focus on introducing our work on formulating event extraction as a question-answering task. It was published in EMNLP this year. And this work tackles the two major challenges that I just mentioned above towards my goal of building machine reader for documents. So firstly, let's go through some background recap. Under the ACE definition, an event consists of a trigger and its corresponding argument spans. In this following example, the goal is to extract the word sale, which triggers the transaction events and its corresponding arguments. The prior method generally performs three steps pipeline-based approach, trigger detection, entity recognition, 
and assigning argument rows to entities. But there are two possible weaknesses. Firstly, they rely heavily on entity information and annotations. This might cause error propagation. Plus, they ignore similarities of different but semantically related argument rows during this process. So can we build a framework that better access relevant knowledge encoded in large models, which enable zero shots ex extraction, as well as bypassing this entity recognition phase? Under this consideration, we take a fresh look at this event extraction task and propose to tackle it with a question answering based framework. We use a pre-trained bird model as the base model for our framework. To give you some background knowledge, the general idea for birds is that it is pre-trained in an unsupervised fashion on text from books and Wikipedia dump. The transformer learns context-sensitive context word and sentence embeddings. And in our framework, we build two, we build two bird-based QA models, one in green for trigger extraction and another is in orange for argument extraction. And input sentence share a similar format. The question and sentence are concatenated by a separator token. Before the input sequence is fed into the two models, we include a question template instantiation step, which is key to our framework. So more specifically, for the input sequence to question answering model for trigger detection, we instantiate the question template with a fixed question. And the model predicts the, pre the position and the type for the event trigger words. For the input sequence to the QA model for arguments, the questions template are instantiated for each possible argument accordingly. And the model predicts the beginning and end offset for the argument span. I'll provide more details on the question generation module in the following slides. So in total, we design three question templates from left to right, we incorporate more semantics and naturalness. Our hypothesis is that this will lead to better performance and generalization. For the first template, we directly use the argument role name. For the second template, we incorporate the, the deb H words into the question. As compared to the first template, more semantic information is included. To incorporate even more semantic information and make the question more natural sounding, we utilize the description for each argument row provided in the official annotation guidelines. To give you an impression of this, for example, here's an excerpt from the guideline for the transfer transportation events. Finally, to incorporate the trigger information that's is detected in the first phase. We add in trigger at the end of the question, and this helps the model to know better to extract arguments of which events. Next, we conduct evaluation on the ACE datasets. For trigger extraction, our model outperforms substantially previous work on both trigger identification and classification. As for argument extraction, even without relying on entity annotations and resources, our framework with the best questioning strategy outperforms significantly better than pre previous state-of-the-art model. And when we do the ensemble, for the model with two questioning strategies, the number gets even higher. In the analysis for different question generation strategies, our, quest 
our template, our, our annotation guideline based template questioning strategy, which is the most natural, achieves the best performance. And we also see that adding in trigger after the question consistently improves the performance. And this trend keeps the same on um, the argument extraction performance when we assume that the trigger are correct in the sentence. As, as for the zero shot evaluation, we train on a set of examples containing thin rows and test on a subset of examples which contain unseen rows at training time. We see that the models with more natural questions has a larger gap in this zero shot learning setting especially for the annotation guideline based questions. I'll skip the error analysis slide for the, time, for the limit of time. And for future work, it's definitely worth investigating how to better exploit the advantages of our question answering based model for information extraction. For example, by adding more question answer pairs generated by learning based models like what we proposed like two years ago, in, to add those synthetic question answering pairs into the training set, we believe the performance will definitely go up. Also, end to end modeling for long document representation is another direction worth investigating. To summarize my talk, I firstly presented challenges in extracting events from documents and our recent efforts in tackling them, and then presented in more details for one of our work on formulating event extraction as a question answering problem. And that's my talk. Thank you for listening.